Welcome to the Fairy Wren Nest. Today I am pondering compassion. This is a via to the beautiful Sadhana at Integrative Healing with Sadhana. I'll link her channel below. She has a beautiful energy and she's invited us on this seven days of compassion journey. And these are my reflections. So just the other day, I accidentally broke this teacup. It belonged to my mother. I always drank tea out of it. And it got me pondering about how fragile our lives are and how there are moments and times in our lives where we, we feel shattered and broken, just like this teacup cup. So a lot of symbolism really spoke to me. I then thought I'd write a few uh, words which ex expressed how I was feeling about compassion and what that meant, its energy, and that it was a sense of caring, empathy, comfort, kindness, tenderness, harmony, respect, there's tolerance, understanding, forgiveness, gentleness, love, so many beautiful words there, and how these energies will always find us in those moments when we need compassion and they will help us mend in a, in a gentle way that they can just like I can mend this teacup though we do take a different form after our shattered moments in life but like this teacup I won't be able to drink tea out of it but it'll take another beautiful form and it will become a candle holder so I'm going to place a candle inside the teacup. Then during my week of compassion I thought I would do a little bit of art and did some art collaging around the symbolism of the broken teacup and I've put the word love there and that's part of compassion too isn't it and then on the back I stamped the word compassion down the side and I wrote a little verse caringly offered memories peacefully amid silent shatterings in omnipresent night and in my compassion reflections i wanted to show you this oracle card i got this randomly 18 years ago when i did an angel and mediumship workshop over a number of days and this was the card that was randomly given to me Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And while I'm bringing this into the energy of my journey with compassion this week, is because I wanted to show a true honesty of how I felt about being honest about compassion. So these words are easily said, but not so easily conveyed or showed. To some others who perhaps have caused those shattered moments in our lives. So it's mercy is a rare word hardly spoken. What are merciful actions? Not judging another, speaking with kind words, thinking compassionate thoughts about others. May acts of mercy come your way. And while that has such beautiful energy, if we are truly, truly honest, Sometimes it is hard to freely give away our compassion or forgiveness. But I have made peace with that over the years and found a gentle self-compassion for myself to believe that perhaps it's not mine to give around that shattered moment and that I can move on from that, find a gentle space where the universe catches me and I move on and to leave that for a high entity, whoever that may that be that you believe in, to sort that out with that other event and person and that's just being honest about compassion really deep, deep down and finding that gentle space that it's okay not to explain it away, 
just to find peace with it in your own heart, your own self-love and self-compassion. These are the two tarot cards that came up around the energy of compassion and the symbolism of the broken teacup. And it's quite breathtaking because both of these are the heart suit, which in tarot are the cups. There's the teacup, our emotions. And of course, these are the feelings we feel. Our depression, our sorrow is when we need, when we have these moments in our lives is when we have to believe that compassion will find us, that the universe will find a gentle space for us in whatever form it does find us. And the next beautiful card that came out was the path and that's the chariot in tarot. And I really love that because I believe that's about uh, movement into the future. After shattered moments and the battles and broken times in our lives, we follow the illuminated path, the beautiful peacock feathers, and we find that light from the universe, that gentleness that, that does... Um, find us a gentle place to land so that light is just like the light of compassion love isn't it really and essentially believing that it does exist uh, and I love this path because I love the peacock feathers just the other week we were walking at night time my husband and I and two beautiful peacocks crossed our path male and female and I'd already researched their energy and it's self-love and I love how the peacock energy has come in after I, after we saw those peacocks a couple of weeks ago. Self-love and self-compassion, very important to remember. And I wanted to reflect on the beautiful energies of St. Mother Teresa and St. Francis. Most of us know their beautiful stories around compassion. So I just wanted to bring that energy into my week of compassion and just for compassion ponderings and like I was saying compassion will find us in some form gently find us just the other day a beautiful friend that I work with she left a beautifully gift wrapped present on my desk and it was this beautiful oracle and this beautiful card and while I didn't openly talk too much about it my son has moved away for the moment because he's found work away from home and I was feeling a little shattered and down but I I kind of kept that to myself you know letting go a child into the, the world um, is a journey and I actually forgot really in my reflections of compassion for the week how it the universe how it surprises us compassion and love just comes from out of nowhere like it did from my friend at work and she she reflected such beautiful words in this card and this is always believe that something wonderful is about to happen and I was feeling really down about my son moving away and she said she really sensed that even though I tried not to show it and her loving words of compassion in this card just brought tears to my eyes and a sense of, wow, how there are, are, that we have to be willing to receive compassion from others as well is so important, isn't it? So just a really, really treasured moment that I'll never forget, really. And the card that came out, the first card that came out of the deck when I used it was this one. I'm a light worker in disguise. I don't have to talk about it. I can just be it. And compassion is kindness, isn't it? Isn't, even if it's just showing a warm smile to someone you pass by in the street. And really it's reflective of the universe telling me that this beautiful friend out of nowhere when I least expected. That's what she was doing. She was 
uh, showing a kindness, a compassion, and she wasn't talking about it. She just wrapped the gift and left it on my desk with that beautiful card. That's beautiful. So breathtaking. And just look, see how the peacock feathers, and I was talking about the peacock feathers and the peacocks that crossed our path just a few weeks ago. How beautiful. And I thought I was going to just bring in the energy of either Mother Mary or Kuan Yin. Uh, they both represent forgiveness and compassion. But with a new oracle card deck I got, this beautiful sacred mothers and goddesses deck, I went through it and I saw that green Tara was compassion and empathy. And I had empathy written down here. And I just loved the, the peace doves here. And if anyone knows my channel and my connection to birds. And green Tara is connected to the heart chakra too, being green. Um, but it really took my breath away because the number 11 is very significant to me and I know it is a master number, an angel number, a very spiritual number but it, it is also very significant to me because it's a time in my life when I was 11 when a very horrific um shattering moment happened in my life and I do have that on my channel if you follow my channel so I thought that was breathtaking and just a little message from spirit about that horrific event and particularly when I was talking about how hard at times that it's easier said than done to give away our compassion so that's quite comforting to get that message. So I thought I'd dig a little deeper over this week, particularly pondering around the number 11 and when I was 11 and how 11, I went through my favourite angel card tarot because I knew 11 was strength. So I believe it's a message from spirit around compassion to finding that strength to find compassion around that horrific event. And it says, great inner strength, release harsh judgments. And then it's got forgiveness and compassion. Wow. And it's Archangel Ariel. And she's riding her strong courageous tiger and tigers are very symbolic to me they go back right into my childhood so that's really breathtaking and I love how there's the the doves of peace here as well and in both these cards and I'll just read a bit from the guidebook often for true kindness to come forth we must find it within ourselves to forgive we're asked to let go of any judgment of ourselves and others and view those around us with forgiveness and tolerance. And then it goes on to say, we've discovered that there's another way to power, to our power, to power our dreams besides pure determination. We can do it with kindness. The exercising of compassion is a critical aspect on our journey of enlightenment. And it's how the beautiful angel shows kindness to the tiger and the doves of peace flying. And it also talks that the lady and tiger or the angel and the tiger will need patience. And I've written all those words, wow, mostly while reflecting at the beginning of this journey. Wow. And it says, yes, yeah, strength is card 11 is considered a master number due to this number's deep connection with inner wisdom. It's able to manifest many, many amazing things, thus bringing with it an obligation to remain in a positive and uplifting energy. 
And it says, yeah, the doves paired with the tiger also tell us that true strength is wielded in peace. The, f the flowers are stars of Bethlehem. Oh, wow. So the flowers in this are the stars of Bethlehem and are said to bring hope. They're, all, they're also sometimes given to someone as a way to say, I'm sorry. my goodness wow and perhaps that's a message from spirit when that horrific event happened when I was 11 and caused by the hands of another that perhaps the one who caused that or who inflicted that event is perhaps saying sorry. Wow. That's that's really breathtaking. And I, when I reflect on Green Tara, also I love how the, it's explained that um, we we don't we shouldn't get caught up in understanding others, understanding others that you excuse bad behavior and don't allow, allow others to mistreat you now like that don't get so caught up in understanding others that you excuse their bad behavior oh wow what a journey so wow those messages yeah spirit is wonderful so i just went to my favorite oracle deck and I wanted to take this card out. I went looking for it, actually flew out of the deck because I knew it was about compassion. If you have a look, there's a bird. Anyone knows my story about birds? And that bird appears in this card. The blue pendant. My father-in-law's blue pendant made out of a blue bottle, polished blue bottle, the blue pendant, and a field mouse. My grandfather's, this is his mouse. Wow. So they're sort of saying, just with this symbolism to, to practice compassion perhaps around that event when I was 11. Thank you, Sadhana, for doing this beautiful journey around compassion and for allowing me to be honest about my feelings too about it. I look forward to hearing your compassion stories too. Blessings all. Have a gorgeous day.